tell a story by Nancy Warsom, published in 2015. Blue and Black. You might think that inanimate objects do not have emotions, but I'm here to tell you that some of us do. I am a navy blue women's cashmere sweater, and I have happily graced the body of Mildred, a sweet older lady, for eight years. Yes, eight years. Good cashmere's well taken care of can last even longer. Mildred never sent me to the dry cleaner, never subjected me to those toxic chemicals. Oh no. I was always hand washed in gentle wool light. She would rinse me in warm, not hot, water. Roll me in a fluffy towel to squeeze out the excess water and lay me carefully on a flat surface to dry. I love those gentle washings. Mildred prized me and I appreciated her loving care. Of course there were times when I was a bit lonely for male companionship. Tucked away in her bureau drawer with the other cashmeres was just fine in many respects. I got to talk to the other sweaters. But they were all female. Females are wonderful for some things. But I longed for proximity to a male sweater. I dreamed of being nestled side by side with, say, a men's elegant maroon lamb's wool v-neck. Or even better, I imagined lying beneath a men's black cashmere turtleneck. Imagined its weight pressing down on me. Imagined the softness of its chest against mine. Yes, I admit it. In spite of my fondness of Mildred, there were times when I longed for that male touch. But it was not to be. Mildred was a widow and a fastidious housekeeper. Even if there were a male living in the house, she would make sure he had his own clothes chest. There would be no bureau cohabitation. And she would never wash his sweaters with her own. There would be no opportunities for surreptitious touching. So it was. Mildred and I lived together, happily, if puritanically, for many years. Then one day, she decided to downsize. She decided to move into one of those retirement communities. In preparing for the move, she honed down her wardrobe. I was one of many clothes she threw into a bag to give away. Yes, threw, not folded carefully. I was thrown like an old dust cloth. I couldn't believe it. The treachery of it, the callous disregard for an old friend. I was devastated. I thought my life was coming to an end when I was dumped into the donation bin at Value Village. Soon I was picked up by a knowledgeable shopper who took me home with her and put me in a big sweater box under the bed. She was not as neat as Mildred. Oh no, that sweater box was a complete jumble. I found myself flying beneath a men's black cashmere turtleneck and we've been hooking up ever since. Sometimes life offers such sweet surprises.